Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at a fairly recently published book, Walther Pistols Model 1 through Model PPX by Dieter Marshall. Uh, this was originally printed in German, uh, and then has been reprinted in English three times. This is the third English edition. The third edition was expanded over the previous ones, although I don't actually have a copy of like the first or second edition, so I can't tell you exactly how much. However, uh, all the previous editions are sold out and ridiculously expensive compared to this one. So this is probably the only one that you're going to find around. It's certainly the only one worth buying in English at this point. Anyway, uh, as for the actual content, this is basically sort of a reference catalogue, like a detailed reference catalogue to Walther Pistols, for really for the collector. Uh, as it says on the title, it does go all the way from the very first Walther Model 1, little pocket pistol, all the way through the guns that are currently in Walther production right now. What I like about this in particular is that it covers a not just pistols made specifically in Germany by Walther, you know, during World War II or before. Normally when you get books about Walther it's going to focus on the PP and the PPK and the P38. And this certainly does. You know, the majority of the, the content in here is about those guns, but that's because those are the most prominent ones that, the, that Walther made the most of and are the most interesting to most people. However, they do cover the models 1 through 9 that came before, uh, and they do cover everything that came after, and uh, Marshall also covers copies of the guns, so things like the East German Model 1001 copy of the PP or PPK. Um, covers all of the Monurin guns, as well as the interactions between Walther Ohm, which is Walther after World War II, and Menuron, the French licensed production of the guns. Uh, for instance, pointing out that uh, Manuel actually made the frames and the slides for Walther Ohm all the way into the 1980s, uh, despite the fact that the Ohm guns are labeled Ohm. It wasn't until the 80s that they were actually making them in Germany instead of in Manuel. Um, at any rate, there is a lot of really good tabular data. There is a ton of serial number data in here. What this book is primarily designed to do is break down all the different variations of these guns, identify what differences there are between them, and you know, what serial numbers comprise each individual variation. So with, for example, the PP and PPK, there's a lot of variations like that. When you look at guns like, say, the, you know, the Model 2 or the Model 7, smaller production, there are fewer variations, but still you have all of that information in here. The downside to this is that it's a little bit dry. There is a section in each chapter uh, about of, of notes about the history of the gun, the development, and, and some interesting facts that may be relevant and may apply. But this isn't really a long-form book. This isn't really the sort of thing that you can sit down and just read. It's more of, I am interested in finding a, you know, third variation B-type PPK. What was the serial number range for that? Flip through it, find your answer. Um, Certainly people who are particularly interested in a given model will find it interesting to read through the section on that model, but there's not a ton of information in there. On the other hand, there aren't a ton of other books about Walther out there. The information in this is excellent, and if you're going to compare this to something like James Rankin's three volume set of books on Walther, they're each going to be better in their own areas. One's not a clear standout improvement over the other, either direction, but Rankin's books are going to cost you like a hundred bucks per volume if you can find them, because they're long out of print, where this guy is $44 and available any day that you want it. Now this was reprinted specifically for uh, Legacy Collectibles, which is, uh, they're a dealer in uh, German historic firearms, well, collectible firearms in general, but specializing in German, in particular Walther's. So uh, they are the exclusive source for this third volume, or third edition in English. Unfortunately I cannot give you a link directly to them because they also sell firearms, and YouTube does not allow links to sites that sell firearms. So if you would like a copy, current price as of this filming is $44. I believe list price on the back, it's not printed on the back of the book, list price is $50, they've got it marked down to $44. You'll have to go to legacy-collectibles.com. You can find it in there. They have a section on a section of their, their uh, stock of books. So I apologize, there's no easy one-click solution to get to it, but 
if you're interested in Walther, really any of the Walther guns, including, it's kind of cool, some of the, you know, all the post-World War II stuff, um, this is by far the best caught, the, the best book for your dollar on those guns today, and it's a valuable um, ancillary to any other set of books on Walther pistols that you might already have. Thanks for watching.